Hi guys, Mary Babe here. I've been waiting to get out here, but there have been so many landscaping companies blowing and mowing and you can still hear one of them going. There's one going over there. There's one behind. Wearing another HCG boutique. I am wearing Jennifer yoga pants. Um, I had a big coupon at Kohl's and so they were having a big sale so I bought two black and a gray three different styles two different companies so we'll see after they've been in and out of the dryer several times which style holds their length and that'll be the one that if I buy any more I'll buy that kind <clears throat> uh, didn't vlog yesterday not much not up to much of anything I was down one pound yesterday and I was down a few more today so I'm within three pounds four pounds of my ultimate goal of 138 I um, did see quite low this morning but I'm having water issues again and I had taken a diuretic so shame on me I shouldn't have done that but um, so I can't really count that as a real weight until my um, water weight levels out and I'm having trouble not wanting to eat some keto things I made um, you know now that I'm getting within a few pounds keto's p3s on the horizon so um, I they're having a sale on bacon and so I had gotten two huge cookie sheets with uh, bake with cooling racks on top um, and I did I had like five packages of thick sliced from before that I'd gotten for two dollars a package 12 ounces and this was today at Kroger they had two dollars a package 12 ounces but they're thin sliced so I'm you have to cook them you know when they're half as thick you have to cook them long it takes more more to get the same amount and whenever I eat them I measure um, by grams instead of just slices because they're all so different and I made um, eight eggs worth of the cream cheese pancakes and I cut um, the little fry pan I have makes them about this big and that's just enough for a quarter cup and each egg makes about half a cup so I was trying to get it systematic so I could figure out how to count them when I do my macros and I was having trouble um, I got my magic bullet fixed but it's really old and clunky my daughter has worn it out um, so I thought oh because I, I was trying to use eight ounces of cream cheese I thought that's too much for that neutral bullet so um, I put it in my, I have a Ninja that I never used much and it has a short one. So I put the eggs in there and whipped them up and then I put the cream cheese in there. Well it has a pore spot on it and the stuff started coming out, all the cracks. So I'll have to get out the big one if I do uh, eight or nine eggs. There, before I had used one, lar one extra large egg and that's what my macros I had set my macro recipe up for so I thought well I made one with one egg and it didn't quite make a whole half a cup so I thought well for eight eggs eight eggs eight ounces of cream cheese I'll use nine eggs well by whipping it up like I did I ended up pouring it I got it whipped mostly in the, the ninja and then I put it a little bit at a time in the Nutribullet, but it put so much air in it that I ended up with a couple more pancakes than I anticipated. So if I'm going to whip them, I may not have to use an extra egg. So I'm trying to think of things that will be quick and easy. When I was on vacation, it was so nice just to be able to open the refrigerator and I took, um, I have a Tupperware lid and I layered cheap foil and I cut rounds that are just a, you know an inch all the way around for the size that the pancake makes and so I've got those all layered and I can slip those in a freezer bag and then two of those um, one hole and then in one in half just fits the 
crepe pan I have when you reheat them. So I got, I was on a roll and I, and I was having trouble flipping them. So I got the idea to have the little one, I would spray coconut oil, because butter was burning. So I sprayed coconut oil and then I would cook it on one side and then I had the flat crepe pan going over here and I would flip it over so I could get two going at one time. So I think this is going to work. And then I cook all this bacon ahead because when I was doing keto, that's about what I ate for brunch every day. It was just so easy, but I had to get out the mixer and mix it up and then there were chunks of cream cheese. And so um, it's like, okay, get closer, get closer, trying to come up with things. Um, Grandma DC uh, does keto cooking and she somebody has told her about wheat gluten so she's ordered some so I'm going to be excited to see if she can come up with some bread something or other because that's what I miss toast I miss toast um, I made my first I can't remember if I told you I made my first fathead pizza uh, cream cheese and mozzarella and almond flour and some people put an egg in but I didn't but the one Person, the one person that I was listening to who said they leave the egg out also said put it on a pizza tile and I had it on on paper I, I did half a batch and I did it in half and cooked one on parchment paper on the stone but last night I took the second half and I put it directly on the stone and the bottom got really crispy if you eat it when it's hot it, it 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 was good it was good for the sauce um, I had gotten some and I have I ordered it on Amazon but I had seen it I think I've seen it at um, Walmart um, I think it's a Amaro but it's tomato paste in a tube and so I took two ounces which is one serving I don't I don't know if it's two carbs or four carbs and then I put some Italian Mrs. Dash in it and some chili powder and some garlic salt and some garlic powder and then I like it real thin so I just barely covered the surface with it and then I put uh, cheese and I have pepperoni that I put in them in the oven um, between parchment paper so all the um, fat cooks out so they're like pepperoni chips so I put cheese all over it and then I lay those pepperoni chips on there and then I put a little plop of, um, use the mozzarella on the bottom and then a plop of the five Italian cheeses on top of each pepperoni. Yeah, but the fat, the fat content, oh, all that cheese, fat and protein. I don't know how they think you could eat the whole serving because even a quarter, I've been running, and my protein, I've been running near my macros already. For keto, you know, um, I did do Atkins. I um, bought some Atkins, uh, what are they called? I don't know, it's, it looks like Kool-Aid. It's similar to the IsoPure, the GNC cells. Um, and what I did was I took half out, so they're 20 grams, so that's 10 grams of that um, Atkins, it's, it's a whey, and then um, I put in a scoop of Gene Pro, and I count that as 15 carb, 15 protein, and it doesn't have any carbs, and then I've been putting in um, one serving of collagen protein, um, which is 11 grams, so, and then I can keep that cold, and I can suck it with a straw, and I'm only getting 10 grams worth of the whey because whey will raise your insulin. Whey is good to eat right after you've had fasting exercise because it does get in and feed your cells or whatever. So all these little tidbits I'm picking up. I haven't started exercising yet. I found my Fitbit, but I couldn't find the charger. So I ordered a new charger and now I can't find my Fitbit. I found the Fitbit but I couldn't find the charger. I ordered a new charger, now I can't find the Fitbit, so I gotta go, it just fell somewhere. So I'm getting, I'm getting ready. Once, I, once I'm done with the P2, I'll start exercising again. My feet are better. I have a doctor's appointment with a different doctor Wednesday, 
Um, I'm thinking I may still go. I've had some other issues, and I don't go in for my physical till middle of January. So, um, my voice sounds a little funny, and I got one ear popping again. I'm outside. It's warmish day today. I was out in just a sweater. Um, note to self: spray your clothes with static guard before you put on your sweater, so that you're not like everything sucked to you if you take off your sweater at the store. So, what else is going on? I don't think I'm drinking enough water. I've had some over vacation and um, some days I've had some lightheaded spells. And I had just heard on one of the podcasts, because keto is diuretic-like and we know that HCG acts as a diuretic. Um, your body, as it depletes the water, it also depletes your electrolytes. So I continue to do bone broth, um, but I'm not drinking enough water. I start out well in the morning and then I kind of lose it as the day goes by. And I have been popping a water pill now and then because in the evening I've been swelling a little bit. So this particular um, person, I don't know if it was a, I don't if it was a doctor or somebody who's very experienced, said that if there isn't enough salt or fluid water in your body, that it will take it out of your blood, and because you need it to survive, and if it comes out of your blood, then that can give you heart palpitations. Um, or lightheadedness, which is exactly what's been happening to me. So I have to make a more concerted effort to push the water. Perhaps if I push the water, um, I won't bloat so much like I did when I was on keto before P3. And that's kind of my weight climbed. So um, it's getting closer. I uh, left the surgeon's appointment on Saturday. And I probably will cut way back what I eat tomorrow, so I don't. I'm not carrying any a, a pooch there, so I probably will just do liquids tomorrow. So Saturday morning, I expect I'll be low if I'm conser really conservative tomorrow, and then um, yeah, just mostly do liquids tomorrow. Saturday morning, I'll have a really low read, but. Um, I won't take that as my LIW because I want to be sure I'm stabilized before I, I go the LIW. So I went down to get a passport today. I had called ahead and they said to renew you don't need a passport. But she had neglected to tell me that if it's more than 15 years old, you have to start all over again and you have to have an appointment. And they like you to call two weeks a week in advance. Otherwise, they interrupt waiting on you to wait on customers that come in. And um, there have been a couple things where I might have been able just to jump on a plane and go, but I didn't have a passport. Um, the last passport I had was when I brought my daughters home. So I looked, I was a lot younger. I was in my late 30s then. I looked a lot younger. And they, this picture is not very good. I got it free at AAA, and I'm like, and it was about 15 pounds ago, but I don't care. So that's it. I'm getting close to my time. Um, probably we'll check in tomorrow. I don't know. If not, I'll check in probably Saturday because I'll be up and out and dressed. If I get, if I get out, if I if I have time before I leave, and if I or if I get home before it's dark. So that's all for now. Bye. -bye.